Good afternoon. This is your girl, Lady J. Ha! Huh? This is your wake up and win. Wednesday, and I know you woke up winning and winning on purpose. We wake up winning. We are survivors. So don't you ever think that you are ever defeated. Because you go to bed winning and you wake up in victory. You hear me? I don't care what you're going through. I know we're all up against something, okay? Lady J is in there with you. But I always believe and always keep my faith. And you know we're human. Every now and then that doubt come creeping in and make us feel a certain kind of way. But yet Lady J know how to overcome the spirit of doubt. The spirit of disappointments. I know how to overcome it. And so do you. And I'm telling you. Because I remain faithful. Come on now somebody. All you got to do is be faithful in a few things. Remain faithful. And God and universe will do it for you. I'm trying to tell you, unexpected shift has been happening to Lady J ever since this morning. Unexpected shift took place. And it took place because I remained faithful. Huh? I kept believing. I didn't allow nothing to disturb or distract me. I stay focused on my faith. And even though it seemed like I was in a fiery furnace and it seemed like the heat was turned up, I still danced. Ah, like David danced. I refuse to lose. Come on, somebody. Y'all got to hear me right now on today. But I just want to let you know that a shift, unexpected shift, is about to happen for you. Out of nowhere, it happened for me, you know. It just happened, the favor of God. And I'm telling you, this happened this morning. And let me tell you, the Spirit of God said, I ain't done with you yet. That's just the beginning. <laughs> no, Y'all better make me dance because <laughs> Lady J can dance. I dance until my clothes come off. Because I know what I've been through. Don't nobody know the depths of what I've been through. Oh my God. And what I still going through but I mm, but I refuse to lie all doubt fear to creep in and make me forfeit my blessing hmm, it ain't going to happen I'm going to remain focused and knowing that all things is working for my good. Huh. Y'all understand. And if you've been through some stuff. And if you're still going through something. Let me tell you something. Stay focused on your faith. Huh. Don't be moved by fear. Don't allow the things that you're going through. People to trouble you. Mm-mm. Keep your eyes on the prize. God got you. You ain't never alone, baby. It may feel like you're alone, but believe me, your spirit guides is walking right alongside of you. Oh, glory be to God. Y'all about to hand me dance. Cause I feel it in my spirit. Something breaking up. Huh. Even as I speak right now, there's some things that's breaking up in my life. And I decree and, to, and declare 
that there's some major things breaking up in your life. Just when you thought it was all over. Just when you was about to throw in the towel. Just when you thought that there was no hope. Here comes God. He may not come when you want him to. But man, I can tell you that he is an on-time God. Since my son passed, it's been like hell on wheels. One issue from another issue to another issue. I got to move. I got this going on. I got that going on. Oh, believe me. I got things going on. It's like things are going on in your life. I'm not perfect. And believe, when I, and believe when I say, but I remain positive. Remain positive. Number one, number one, number one, number one. Tell them, Lady J. No matter what you go through in life, remain positive. Keep your energy clean. Pure. Do you hear what I'm saying? You're not going through by yourself. We are in it together. So don't you dare throw in the towel. Don't you dare give up. You better fight. And you better stay grounded and rounded in heaven. Come on, y'all ain't, ain't ready about what I'm talking about today. Mm-mm. Because y'all have no idea. And I know that hell's been hitting you in your house. Uh, I know you've been going through some stuff. But I'm here to let you know that there's an unexpected shift about to take up. Uh, it's taking place right now. If you believe it, say amen. Uh, and two as an agree, it uh, shall come to pass. Baby, it's already here. My finance has been so dry, couldn't rub two nickels together. But somebody say wealth. Ha! Glory be to God. Come on now. Come on. Come on. I'm stealing somebody's faith up on today because somebody's faith has been compromised. Huh, you ready to forfeit everything that you believed in. And it's right around the corner. Come on now. I'm trying to help you, trying to help you out. Because why I'm helping you, I'm helping me. And why I'm staring up your face, I'm faith, I'm staring up my faith too. Come on. Ma'am, I say I was going through. Oh Lord Jesus. Come on, God. Huh? He knows what I was going through. Huh? Dealing with some stuff. Hmm. Oh my God, my God, my God. Hmm. But I'm just here to let you know. <laughs> we will have the last laugh. Mm. Say it again, Lady J. You will have the last laugh. It's just like falling, but you can get back up. You can't. Listen, if you fall, get back up. I don't care if you fall a hundred times. A hundred times, get back up. Because every time you get back up, you get stronger. That's just like your trials and tribulations, huh? your test that God gives us every day. Oh, yes, he do test you to see if you even deserve the blessing. Come on, talk about it now, Lady J. It don't make a difference how many times you fill that test. You just need to make sure that you pass it so that you can receive the overflow, the cup runneth over. Huh? That you won't have no room when the blessings come, you have to give some away. Come on now. I can testify on today that I'm feeling overflow. I feel it. Breakthrough all over the place. And some of you guys see everything negative. You lose a job, negative. Marriage breakup, negative. Relationship breakup, neg uh, negative. Everything's negative. But in reality, it's positive. Come on. You just got to flip them lenses and see it differently. I'm trying to tell y'all, get out of that negative energy. Get out of that negative energy. Because there's nothing good about that. See everything as a positive. Because see, what I mean by that is that if you get thrown out of your house, and you get evicted. It may look like it's the worst thing ever happened to you. Which is not. You may say, well, I don't know how I'm going to make it. You may have kids. And who am I going to live with? Oh, my God. I just started a new job. It may look negative. But, baby, you don't see the other side of the door of positivity. You don't see the other side of that door. That God has already granted you access to a, a nice, beautiful home. Huh. Gave you favor with somebody to say, hey, by the way, here's a home for you. 
I heard that you got put out your home, but here, I have a home. I'm a homeowner. I own this home here. This is for you and your kids. Come on, I'm trying, I'm trying to show y'all how to stay positive. Because a lot of times we get negative when bad things happen. We tend to get very negative. And I'm trying to tell you, you gotta remain positive and see things from a different perspective because everything ain't bad. This beauty and life as it is in death. And we gotta be able to see them both being beautiful. I'm gonna leave you with that because I gotta go. My bus is almost here. But I just wanna let you know that you are not by yourself. And you gotta dry them tears. And you better shake everything off of you that no longer serves you. And you better get that mind together. Because there's a major and unexpected shift happening right now in your life. You better give him praise. You better give him glory right now. Huh? Glory. Anyways, remember to live out loud, to love hard, and to love like you don't have any problems. You don't have problems. You are the solution to your problems. So let's get it. Let's shine together. Ah, we got this. Till next time, peace.